Leaks are a frequent cause of failure with ozone calibrators. They can lead to moisture buildup inside the instrument, eventually causing a catastrophic failure. TAPI recommends doing a leak check during the initial startup, following any maintenance, or during annual PMs. The tools we will use in this video are a Teledyne API leak checker, zip ties, and clamps. If you have any questions about this procedure, please refer to the pneumatic diagram at the end of the video or the user manual found on the website. First, we need to prepare the calibrator by capping off the exhaust, the two calibration gas outlets, the vent, and last, the zero air inlet. The output of the leak checker is connected to the dry air inlet. This is where the leak checker will apply positive pressure in order to check for leaks. Both of the internal pumps need to be isolated or bypassed since they can sometimes leak under positive pressure. Install a clamp between the divert valve and the exhaust. Then a, a union is used to bypass the dry air pump. Zip ties are used to isolate the flow controller and the blue pump. Now you can pressurize the system. If using a tappy leak checker, turn the switch to pressure and, and open the valve. After the pressure gauge on the leak checker reaches 15 PSI, wait for about one minute for the pressure to stabilize inside the calibrator. Then close the leak checker valve and turn the switch to the center position to begin the leak check. The test runs for about five minutes. After five minutes, the pressure must not have dropped by more than one PSI, which means the instrument is not leaking. If your pressure has dropped by more than one PSI, uh, then you'll need to check all the pneumatic connections, ensure the correct areas of the instrument have kept, been capped or bypassed, and then restart your leak check. This, this pneumatic diagram of the calibrator shows the locations of the caps and clamps. Refer to your operations manual for more information.